All right, let me get all my platforms up and going. Haven't really been live, live uh, in a couple of days. So let me know if you all can hear me well. I've, you know, a lot of videos on my YouTube channel, just attempting to get some education out there. Uh, for what we are about to approach, what we are about to enter into. So just trying to get a lot of education information out there. Um, some things that I I looked at today with Credit Karma and, you know, knowing that um, Intuit just bought out Credit Karma. So I decided to log into Credit Karma today, right? And I already see changes on there preparing for, get this down, preparing. All right, YouTube, can you hear me now? Let me see what's going on my YouTube. All right, YouTube, is it coming in now on YouTube? Okay, okay, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for corresponding. So I'm good on YouTube now. I, I don't think I have my power on. So, yeah, if you know the Fed cuts interest rates, right, the Fed cut interest rate, the stock market, all of the gains that it received on um, Monday, it's, it, it, it downtrodden today. But I really, you know, we can talk about the stock market, but I'm, I really want to get you all into this new FICO 10. I really want to share this FICO 10. If you, log, if you have a Credit Karma account, 
If you look on the payment history, and I will attempt to flip the screens and show you all this and log into my Credit Karma account, you will get to see what the queen of credit, credit looks like, right? So if you log into your Credit Karma account, you will see under payment history, this was a big change that they that took place today. On your Credit Karma, it has the payment history as 90-day charge off. Meaning now, instead of it, they're already updating for the FICO 10. So I'm not really going to get into debate with anybody if the FICO 10 is going to be effective. Because these Intuit buying Credit Karma and updating the website is already um, signs that this will take place. So not only will we experience um, a black swan and, and meaning the coronavirus um, that I could talk all day about that and my beliefs on that, being that China was on uh, pace to be the number I mean, the top economy into 2021, right? Hello, Life Media Pro on YouTube. China was on pace to be the top economy headed into 2021, right? So if you're watching this live in the replay, if you knew that, right, I want you to put, um, knew that, make a mind message connection. If you knew that China was on pace to become the top economy into 2021. I want you to put new that, right? Now, if you didn't know this connection, whether you're watching this live in the replay, so put new that, K-N-E-W, I'm a school teacher, so, you know, I'm accustomed to teaching, right? Okay, uh, my YouTube, Ramina says she knew that, Right? Okay, Periscope says, know that. I need YouTube to come in. I mean, my Facebook to come in. Facebook to come in. Some of the people on YouTube comment. Did you know or didn't know? So they were on page to become the top economy. China was, right? And also, let me know if you knew this or you didn't know. And I'm going to show you the changes that's preparing for the FICO 10. Because... This is going to affect 1.4 million Americans' credit score dropping by 20 to 40 points by this summer. Okay, on Facebook says she didn't know. Thank you, Ms. Finch. Um, thank you. So happy to catch you on this live. Thank you so much, YouTube. Um, okay, Life Media Pro on YouTube said knew that, right? So I have some people. So China was on, on pace to be the top economy for 2021, meaning that they had purchased more physical gold, right? More physical gold. And also, let me know if you all knew this or not. They were also in discussions with Saudi Arabia to start selling oil to them. Did you all knew that? Kendra, uh, uh, Kishandra on YouTube said she did not know that. Did you all know that they were in discussions with Saudi Arabia to start selling oil? Okay, Ms. Moore uh, on YouTube says she knew that as well. And so America, that means we were not going to be the top dog in the economy. Some people said they didn't know that. Uh, some people, uh, Bomb Azar, Azar said, uh, I knew about the oil. Okay, on YouTube, they said they knew about the all Facebook and Periscope. I need you all to comment, make a mind miss, miss connection, whether you're watching this live on the replay. And so China was paused to be the top economy. Now, if you know how serious um, that relationship or partnership with Saudi Arabia would have been, Kendra Finch said she did not know, thank you, Facebook, is that's how America got or receive the name or labeled as the petrodollar, right? That's how our that's how we became the king of currency, and other countries began to use this printed money because of our deal. It's fiat. It's I, I have to get out of the habit of calling the money, but currency, 
right? Currency, because with the deal of Saudi Arabia, now we have that partnership deal. We have a commodity, and it is that made it known um, as the petrodollar. Because in 1971, this is another question, then we're going to get into FICO 10 at 1.4 million Americans' credit score possibly dropping by 20 to 40 points. Uh, I don't know what that means, bizarre. Knew that about the oil. And so um, what this means is in 1971, I uploaded a video also on YouTube about this because this is information that's not taught in schools, right? So I don't take it lightly that people know. President Nixon made an announcement to take this dollar off of the gold standard. So if you've been following me for any time, let me go get it. I, I think I have uh, uh, something to sh that I can show you all. Give me a second. Okay, so I do. And this is an example uh, until 1971. This is how a $20 bill used to look or read. It would read in gold coin. Now I'm giving you this and I'm following up to credit in a minute because I'm going to show you how Corona and credit is about to combine and crash together and credit scores and how this is a big deal how this is a serious deal leading into the global recession, right? And so meaning that for every $20 bill or paper that was printed, there was physical gold to back this held in security, um, in storage, in banks, in their security, right? And so it was just, they can print it of the amount of the gold that was stored, so after some time, they found that people, and I have silver here, um, silver, a silver round, but they found that people never came back to retrieve their physical gold. So they began to just print this paper, this monopoly money, without having all of the physical gold in storage to back it. And then they will charge interest because you can't charge interest on precious metal, right? On the paper. Right? That's what we or you and I call FICO. So what happened in 1971, France brought a boatload of this. They said, you're not back by gold anymore. You don't have a commodity. So France was bringing a boatload on their warship to the United States of our dollars. And they said, we don't want this anymore. Or we don't want this anymore because you're no longer back. It's, you don't have the gold in storage, right? You don't actually have the gold in storage to back it like you used to. So we don't want this anymore. You can have this back. And we are coming back to get our real money, our physical gold. And, and France was coming on a warship. President um, Nixon got word of it. And that's called the Bretton Woods Agreement. And he had a meeting and he said, um, yeah, someone like me to your pro said this was our plan, that we are going to take money out for the gold standards because we don't want to give France back their gold, right? So China was paused to become the top economy they were making discussions and deal with Saudi Arabia um, to sell oil and exchange with Saudi Arabia. They were also making deals with Africa, which is rich in commodities and gold and mining and precious metals. And all of a sudden, they get hit with this coronavirus. <laughs> all of a sudden, coronavirus like a black swan event, you know, all of a sudden the China is going to be the top economy next year and they get hit with coronavirus. And so um, if you study back in 1987, for, for example, a big stock market crash happened 
1987 as well. Then we have 9-11. Then we have the dot com. And then you have in 1918, um, the swan flu, the flu epidemic. And then, of course, 1930s came the Great Depression. So if you study the trend of economic resets, they happen uh, on average of every 10 years. 2008, we had the housing market crash, right? And so now this bubble is about to burst. This bubble is about to burst. Not only was China making agreements with Saudi Arabia, Arabia Saudi Arabia or having discussions with them to sell them their oil. They was buying more physical gold, storing it in their banks. They were making deal negotiations with Africa to overtake the economy of the United States. And they were not in agreement with the Terrorist Act, right, with the United States. So now, as a result, this coronavirus is, is globally taking a hit on Australia, Japan, other countries. And now America is in debt to China as well. So I'm forewarning you all that not only this coronavirus is going to hit the economy, the Fed cut interest rates, meaning they are attempting to do everything to keep people to borrow for cheap. If the Fed interest rate gets to negative zero, that means we will go not only to inflation, but a hyperinflation where the prices are extremely high and unaffordable. And we already have the automobile vehicle industry suffering and our farmers in America suffering because of the import export exchange that we are not experiencing with China. So I have been prophesying and almost preaching this for upcoming months that once your credit score drop and we are already at a, a point where people are losing thousands and the stock market is crashing just like it did in 1987, one of the biggest stock market crash in 9-11. Uh, it wasn't so big in the, in the housing market. But even in 1980s, right, we had another recession with oil. So if you don't know this history, you don't even know that we are on pace. We are two years overdue for a recession to happen. So you have to know the history of the years of when recession happened. And then we even have minor or small recessions in between. So what do I mean by that? For example, in 2008, we experienced the housing market crash, right? 2014 was the Ebola breakout. Another small minor black swan event. Black Swan is something, an epidemic that's unexpected that hits in the form of, uh, you know, any unexpected like 9-11 devastating event like the Ebola virus that affects the people and the economy. Right. And now we're with the coronavirus. And so this is why I'm telling people that and I may do a small um a small teaching or session on why you need to be stacking silver right, right now to get recession ready. And I give you a website. I'm not an affiliate or where you buy the silver. I just want to educate you on why you should be buying it to get recession ready. So I may do that. I'm not sure, but I'm going to flip my screens and I'm going to show you all my personal credit scores and how both um, Experian and Credit Karma are both preparing. I hope I can log on. Let me uh, take this light off. How Experian, I'll try to get you a better angle periscope. Okay. And both um, Credit Karma, Credit Karma are preparing. Get all this 
books out the way so I can turn these cameras for the new FICO team. And so also you will see my credit scores have dropped just a little bit because um, let me get Facebook ready because I just used the bank's money to make an investment deal on a condo because I know that people are going to need somewhere to live for this recession. So let me sign in and don't worry you too. Once I'm signed in, I will, um, Change the camera angle as well. Let me see how everything's gonna look on YouTube. If I can remember my password. <laughs> I hope it doesn't ask to text my phone because I'm doing it on. Um, what's my password? What's my password? Let me see if they see. It. Not sure. Oh, I got this misspelled. Hold on. All right, I might have to ask my daughter to come in and log in if I can't remember my information. I think I got that spelled wrong. All right, let's see, can I log in? All right, here we go. So let me change the camera for YouTube. So I think everyone can kind of see that I'm logged into on our channels, Experian. Good evening, Curtis, on YouTube. So this is the first thing I noticed with this hearing today because I got some uh, hard pulls on my credit report. So as I told you all, I just got approved for a condominium. So my score took a little dip. And, and, and when you use your credit to create cash flow, that's exactly what you want it to do. Now, I want you to notice that on Experian, you can log in, it states credit and finances. I want you all to understand it. It states credit and finances. So these are my recent in inquiries that, um, and then my total debt increase. But this is what I want you all to see. Credit and finances, people. This is preparing you for FICO 10. I don't know any other way to tell you. Because I told you that FICO 10 is going to look at your credit score over the previous two years, not just your 30 to 60 day snapshot. So you get in these AU trade lines and our credit sweeps are a thing of the past. That's a thing of the past. So if you want to invest your money in paying someone for AU trade line, this is what my credit limit reporting on there is, 107,524 dollars. So if you wanna waste your money for the very few people that still left selling AU trade lines, then you can go right ahead. Now, if you don't know what an AU trade line, I'll let you know. So these are, just some new inquiries um, that I got, I think, from my recent uh, purchase that I was approved for. For a con and, and, and let me go back to this. Let me say this real quick while I'm logged in. Let me teach another lesson. If you sign up with credit repair, with our restoration consulting services with me, 
the very first thing you need to know is how to do this. This is what you need to know how to do. Go to reports and scores, select credit reports. And once you select credit reports, stroll all the way down, all the way down to this blue box that says Visit Dispute Center. This is what you will need to know. And this is what I'll need access. Now, I do not dispute anything online at all, but it gives me the personal information. I won't click on this because it'll show my address, but I'll be able to see your personal information and it will show me exactly what addresses and names are connected to negative accounts. I had such a hard time trying to explain this to a lady today that I need this access in her Experian account because once I delete the addresses or I can go in and know what addresses are connected to that bad collection or charge off, then I can know what negative addresses I need to delete. And she she just couldn't she just couldn't understand why this is important. Well, Experian is the only one, the only company that offers or provide that information to do that. And you know, she just wants to skip over the next step. So that credit and finances, and these just some hard pulls you can see. Um, you know. How real estate hard pull is what I got recently to get approved for my renting condo. So everyone that's fixed credit that's using their leveraging their credit to build wealth, they're not trying to brag on an 800 credit score. They're trying to use their credit score right to create cash flow and to get investments. So that's the number one change I saw. With Experian, it says now credit and finances, meaning it's going to take into account how you pay down your debts. It's not going to look at a 30 or 60 day snapshot. It's going to look at, for example, it's reporting $27,000 worth of debt for me. It's going to look at how I pay this debt down in, in two years. Thank you, YouTube bomb um, Azar. Here, I think I'm, there's some new information for me. Yeah, never noticed that. So let me show you how I create a karma. Let me log out of this. This this really, really was, I was like, wow, when I saw this with create a karma. Which pretty soon, all of these people that are showing these credit karma snapshots as look at this score increase. First of all, this is Intuit. Intuit that just purchased Credit Karma for $7.1 billion, right? So they've already made that update. I'm telling you people, what are you going to do when your credit score drops 20 to 40 points this summer and we are in a recession? And you're not getting your credit prepared now to purchase assets like I'm doing. What are you going to do when you can't even borrow money and financially prices are increasing? We're going to go through inflation. And people are taking financial hits already in their 401ks right now in the stock market that they're 50 and 60 years old and they have their 401ks tax and stocks, they may not even be able to retire. <laughs> okay, you two, she said, my name is pronounced bum ass hair. I got you, I got you. Okay, let me try to, what's this login? I just logged in. Cause I really don't log into my credit like that because I, you know, I keep um, updates. What was this login? Uh, let me try this. See if that's it. Nope. I think I think it's something else. Hold on.
So let me show you create a comma updates and see if this passes. Where is it? Uh, let me try to get my daughter. Hold on for one second. Let me try to get my daughter to log in hers because I think I forgot my password. Okay, she's in the shower. Let me try this one more thing because I just logged in. They don't shut me out. Somebody want to text me that credit card? Maybe I had my username wrong because I know this address. I mean, I just logged in before I went live to load that 14. Let me see. Uh, 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 uh. I don't think this is it. Let me try this because you all need to see the change with credit card. If not, I'm gonna to have to explain it to you, but I want you to see it. Oh my God. Let me try one more time. I don't know y'all saying the queen. I, I really don't check um credit card because I understand it's a vantage score. So it's just a monitoring system, but when I saw the changes then I feel like I need to show you all. And if I can't show you, then I'm sorry, you may have to. Uh... Yeah, there we go. All right, I'm glad you are. Uh... All right, they're gonna send me a text message. I didn't lie. All right, so let me show you credit karma. I know it's giving me that security message. And the changes. I mean, this this is gonna hurt a lot of people. All right, so credit score drops on. You know, I got those inquiries. And I got some more debt on there. And because I'm investing. So what did I see that? Was it score details? This, this is going to hurt a lot of people. Okay. Payment history. I looked at this and I was, oh my God, I was just thinking this is going to affect a lot of people. Let's look at this. Of course, it says I have stellar payment history. Thank you, Credit Karma. But it says, what to know? A single 30 or 60 day missed payment is easier to recover from, but it can help your score significantly. Listen, when I saw this right here at the bottom, how your score get calculated, I was like, whoa, I'm sorry about that Facebook. Let me adjust this so y'all can see a little better. It states that a 90-day miss is more damaging and could disqualify you from certain loans. Now, after 90 days, missed payments can become charged. I'm, I'm going to have to read that several times. After 90 days, people, it's on credit card. If you don't have an account with them, get you a free account. After 90 days, a missed payment can become charged off and sent to a collection agency. People under the current system now are charged off would be after 180 days. It took six months. They've already made this update on Credit Karma. So they even have the percentage formula that includes all possible payments. Right. So, for example, if you have 120 possible payments, 120 possible payment is 10 years. But it's saying if you have if so, if you've had an account for 10 years, whether, you know, a credit card open for 10 years, whatever situation may be. 
but it had three late payments in that time, your calculation would be 120 minus three divided by 120, which would be 97.5%. But they're giving you that over a 10 year period. What about people that had a three late payments in a two year period? Your calculation now is going to be different. Okay, um, YouTube, I, I see your question about your student loan. I'll answer that when I flip the screen. So now, after 90 days, it's going to be considered charge off versus in the past of 180 days. So if you're following people and they are telling you this is, you know, ultra FICO wasn't effective. The banks did not use FICO 9. That was just a fluke. That's that's not true. The banks did use FICO 9. Uh, they were just not aware of it. They were just not aware of the banks are, and Navy Federal uses FICO 9, whereas Fargo uses FICO 9 scoring model. Ultra FICO was used per, per your request. And a lot of people, sorry for my hand and that. Let me adjust this camera. A lot of people did not elect to use the FICO, um, the FICO, ultra FICO, because they didn't carry a balance over $400 in your checking account. So what am I, what am I saying now? What I'm saying is, that your charge offs are about to be after 90 days versus 120 as soon as coming in June of this summer. I'm telling you that no longer can you pay someone to do a credit sweep. If you don't know what a credit sweep is, it temporarily um, hides negative accounts for 30 to 45 days as the credit agency investigate to see if those accounts are yours, a credit suite requires to um, file what, identity theft because you're stating that you are a victim of identity theft and those negative accounts were not created by you, right? And, and a lot of people will do those credit suite and then after a 30, 45 day period, after the credit agencies investigate and find out that yeah, these were your account. Because when you are saying someone has stolen your identity, they have to temporarily block negative accounts because it could be hurting you or harming you. And it was of no actions of yours. It was a result of someone stealing your identity and falsely making transactions on your account. And so a lot of people was misleading or sending in false information stating that but some people elected to get that done because they said well I just want to go and try to get this car and then once I get approved doesn't matter to me if my credit go back to this current state that it was in or some people will will pay a business to add them as an authorized user right and pay good amount of money for someone to add you on their credit card as an authorized user, not knowing that in 30 to 60 days it will drop and your credit will go back to the current state that it is. Okay, bomb ass hair says, now I am really a victim of identity theft. Would it be possible to get those false inquiries in accounts of, it is possible but for people that are really are a victims, true victim of identity theft, uh, what people need to understand with me is that I am not a credit repair business. So what do I mean by that? I'm not like Lexington Law. I'm not like credit score. I'm not a month to month payment business program. And month to month, just keep telling me Nino Brown, Oh, it's Neo Brown now sent me a friend request on YouTube. <laughs> so uh, with that being said, 
In consulting and credit consulting, if you are a victim of identity theft, and after I have provided a credit audit for you, then I will give you the steps that you need to do to file an identity theft report. Because if you look on the website, um, ftc.gov, or if you go to your local police station, it states that if you are submitting fraudulent or false information, it could lead to a fine or imprisonment, which means jail time because it becomes a federal offense. And so that's how I handle that. You have to get affidavit signed and completed with your name stating that you were not aware of this account and the fraudulent transaction that took place and or inquiries that took place. So yes, I offer that, but it's more of a do it with me services versus me doing it and, and putting my name and business on the line. So it, especially if you have no evidence that you are a victim. So I will walk you through of how to get that done. Okay. So if you all want to know more about, um, silver okay just this is my website this is how you can send me a message or email do you all want to listen on silver say yes or no if not i can log off i don't need to comment youtube i need you all to also give more thumbs up only 17 thumbs up. I can log off of any platform. Okay, Periscope say yes. I don't have to be live on all three platforms. So let me all show you. Um, okay, Facebook says yes. Facebook, I think I'm going to have to uh, keep my screen as it is. So that's how you contact me. Let me make sure I adjust this. Go to book online and now let's learn. Quentin, you said you tried to sign up today. What happened? So I'm going to have to erase this thing, erase this, all of this um, information on my whiteboard to have the silver lesson. I'm in my shorts, so excuse the stone. But um, these are all the collections, $79,317 worth of charge off and collections I deleted off of a client's credit report. These were the collection accounts, Midland Fund, Midland Fundling. Look how much debt was just in Midland Fundling alone. LV Envy Lending Club, second round, nine thousand one hundred fifty-two dollars. So I will erase the bottom portion of this because this was like my most challenging um, credit results that I have received or that I, I've done with a client. So Periscope, let me change, flip this over for you all. Uh, Facebook, I'll get you adjusted as well. Okay. All right, so Periscope can see. Um, Facebook, let me see how I'm gonna do this with Facebook. Facebook, that's gonna be, that, that would be the best angle for you. All right, so let's have a little lesson. You know, I'm a teacher in public school, so I love teaching. So we're going to start with 1968. And I have a silver stacking report why silver can make you recession ready, right? Put this microphone down. How silver can make you recession ready. And it's at a price that you can't afford, very affordable, and why you need to invest in this silver stacking report that I have so that you can understand the difference between silver rounds and silver coins and which ones are the best opportunity for investing to prepare for this recession. So that silver stacking report it's $25. It gives you all of the 
um, rounds and corners I suggest if you're new to it. And this is the why I suggested, right? So Facebook, I need you all to share this on your personal page. So let's start with 1968. And then we're going to go 2020. Now, Aristotle defined money as something durable. It can stand the test of time. It's portable. It's widely accepted, meaning it's globally accepted, right? And it has intrinsic value, meaning that it's value within itself. That defines gold and silver. And if you know the history, put no, right? If you know, you don't have to put new, just put K-N-O-W, no. Or if you didn't know, and the Constitution defines silver and gold as money. So whether you're watching this live on the replay, I need you to make a mind next to connection. If you knew that, put no. If you don't know or didn't know, put don't know. So in 1968, the price of silver, a silver round, was, say, $2.70. So in 2020, right, the price of a silver round, let's say you get around, it's about $18, and it can be sold for increase of value, right, at um, $19. Okay, Quinn, if if PayPal was down, Quinn, then let me uh, put my cash app in. I don't know what's, what's going on with PayPal. And so, let me do this real quick. Um, Facebook and Periscope, you all can put this, catch someone watching. I may have to erase some more of this. I'll rewrite it if need be. So my cash app. And to be honest with you, I'm probably going to, to go back to using my cash app more because PayPal pay, charges so many fees on top of that. So, you know, they're eating, they're eating me up in fees and cash app is more fee free. So that's the word financial coaching and it's the dollar sign ld financial coaching this is my cash app is my paypal is that so let's use a mcdonald's hamburger for for this example illustration all right move this over some for youtube make sure youtube can kind of see it let me hold steady yeah, I know it has a glare of you too, so just... So, the hamburger in 1968 was 15 cents. Uh, that was the, the cost of the hamburger in 1968. Let me take this glare off. Let's see if it's going to be a little better for you too. Okay, that might be a little better. Just a little bit. So 1968, price of a hamburger, 15 cents. Today, let's say a McDonald's hamburger is a dollar. I don't know. I don't really eat Mac McDonald's hamburgers, but we just want to say that that's the price for illustration and teaching purposes. Now, in 1968, at 15 cents, a hamburger... Hamburger with a $20 bill, you had a $20 bill, you could buy for 15 cents, this 133 hamburgers. That's a good deal, isn't it? <laughs> for 15 cents. So let's say today at a, at a price of, of $1, $1, if the hamburgers are $1, um, you can get 20 
hamburgers today with the $20 bill. Same price, I mean different price, different amount. $20 bill gets you 20 hamburgers in 2020 at $1 cost, whereas in 15 cent in 1968, you would have gotten 133. But today, right, today, if you use silver round or if you traded in your silver round for this printed currency, fiat money, then hamburgers at $2.70, which was the price of rounds, silver rounds, you could purchase 18 hamburgers. Because silver is $2.70 per ounce, spot price. Now silver is around, is about $18. So you can purchase the same 18 hamburgers even at a dollar, even with the price increasing from 15 cents to a dollar with the silver round. So that's my lesson for you all on why you need to be investing this because as prices increase, that's inflation. Inflation is, let me is when prices increase and that means that your dollar because as the Fed cuts rates more of this printed money they're trying to circulate which is going to devalue of what the dollar or what printed money can purchase just like it did from 1968 to 2020 even the price is increasing, but look at your purchasing power. $20 for purchase, 133 hamburgers, 1968. Now $20 today with this printed money can only purchase $20. But the silver round still holds its course, right? It still holds your course. So if you want that silver stacking report, that's the first place I will, I, the first thing I would do is to start knowing what silver rounds you, you need to invest in so you can trade. If you're looking to trade it in for a capital investment, you need to know what types of rounds that, number one, are the best return of your money and the difference between rounds and coins. So questions now is at this time, what all does credit um, consulting analysis cover? That's on YouTube. The credit consulting analysis cover a detailed audit of your credit and exactly what negative items from all three credit agencies are reporting. Right. Some people, because they don't have a credit monitoring program that shows all three credit reports. If you're logging in later, you know that I log into both Experian and um, Credit Karma, which shows TransUnion and Equifax. So you don't know if you don't have one place to look at all your credit score. You don't know what is reporting to what credit agency. Because just because a collection is reported on TransUnion does not necessarily mean it's reporting on Experian or Equifax and vice versa. So it covers that. It gives you a full detail of credit education. It lets you know also the credit analysis, what accounts that are in the time limit where creditors can come and sue you for those accounts. And it also gives you my consulting investment fees to get these negatives removed or the quote that you will need for what it what negatives need to be renewed, removed, why, and some credit education. As I stated earlier, if you're coming in late, the credit karma is already updating for FICO 10. 
meaning that it's already stating that charge off accounts that if you have a 90 day late payment, it will be considered a charge off or can be sold to collection as a charge off now versus 180 days it used to be six months. Now it's looking at three months. And now the new FICO 10 is going to look at how aggressively are you paying down debts in two years? Not just a 30 or 60 day window. Because it was so many ways through authorized trade lines and AUs that you can really manipulate that. That's not an option anymore. So now is the time if you're already under a 680 credit score or you know you have negatives in charge off and collections reporting and to get those accounts deleted so that in the event right that you need to use credit or use the bank's money to make investment because when this recession hit people they don't want to be homes foreclosed on right Unfortunately, but this is when the rich get wealthy. And if you cannot use your credit, if you cannot use your credit to partake in these investments, you are going to be left behind. You're going to be left behind. And this with with what's going on, this is not going to be a quick fix. This is something people. Right. This is something that will be in for the long run because it's also including the coronavirus epidemic along with $1.5 trillion in student loan debt. Along with the repo debt and student loan debt now is higher than credit card debt. So Life Media Pro says, I just want to learn more about doing credit. What do you mean about doing credit? Uh, if you want a credit repair business or if you're interested in a credit repair business, I don't have the time to mentor and teach that one-on-one, but you can join up with my partnership company that I do partner with and source with for the late payment reversal services that they offer. And you, and this is another way you need to use your credit to invest for the recession. If you are a person who's thinking about what is something I can do on the side to have extra money coming in, okay, credit repair. If you're thinking what is something I can do, let me see, can I find this link, to have extra money coming in, then you need to partner with me in this credit repair business. It's a small investment. If your credit is on point and you want some additional money coming in because you know the recession coming, look, FICO 10 is going to hit people so hard. Go to that link, Life Media Pro. Mm -hmm. Good night. Love you. I'm finna go to bed. too. So uh, you can cut it off. So if you know that FICO 10 is going to hit millions of Americans and that credit score is going to drop, then why not Go ahead and partner with me in this credit repair business and get money because I can't have all the customers. I'm already overwhelmed and overbooked. You're welcome, Life Media Pro. I had the same information being reported on all three. I have a charge off in collections. Okay, Sheila, go to my website, www.fixmycreditincash.com. You will see a link on there that says um, book online. And I need to change that because my consultation fees have changed. So if you're watching me live, I think I still have $50 on there. It has changed to $75. But if you go to credit book, credit help book online, I don't think I made that update. And if you go ahead and get your $50 in, before I log off, then I will give you that credit consultant and analyze your credit report. But I'm just telling you, when I log off, I'm going to go on this website and change it to my pricing, updated pricing. Yeah, let me see. It says get started today. 
I say, yeah, custom creating analysis, still showing $50. As soon as I log off, I'm changing it to 75. So if you want that, if you're on Periscope, Facebook, let me um, put the link in, my website in, so you all can see. Um, you need to get that in because as soon as I log off, that price is changing to 75, right? Because um, what people don't understand too, when you are a client of mine for credit consultation, all of your addresses and personal names, all of that is included and deleted from your credit report. And that's a big deal because that increases your credit report for every address deleted from every you know, from two to five points. And also what it does is it uh, get, makes it easier to get those charge off and collections deleted from your account at the address that is connected to. So for example, if you were living at 305 Bradley Lane and somewhere in California at the time, and that's where that collection agency were mailing that collection notice at that time of residency, and you've moved or relocated, right? Or at the time that student loan became late and they mailed, and that's the address they had on file at that time connected to that student loan, then getting the addresses deleted makes getting the negative accounts easier to be deleted as well. Okay, so if you all understand that. All right, if there's no more questions, I've been live. You definitely want to get that silver stacking report. Facebook, I put that information in my comments as well to my website. Um, so if I don't have any more questions right now, then I'm signing off because it's 10 o'clock my time. I know it's early on the um, West Coast, like 8 o'clock, but it's late Central Standard Time. So that's all the questions. If you did not watch this from the beginning, please go back, watch the history on China becoming the top of economy in this time too. The uh, the upcoming Great Recession is coming, and and you know the Dow drops its points today. The uh, um, many people four hundred one ks in in their later years maybe have five years of work left. It's going to be greatly affected and determined if they can even um if they can even be able to reply uh, Quentin retire. I just received your cash app. And people, let me say this and I'm logging off too. Um, I have a question. Let me see. On YouTube, I still log. Let me say this and I'm logging off. After you have invested the fifty, the $75 for your credit analysis, when I log off, it's going to be 75. It's 59. When I log off, it's going to be 75. I'm not going back. Give me two to three business days and once email your credit report, I have the instructions with it, right? <clears throat> so you have to email me your credit report in HTML format. Then you give me two to three business days to email you back the credit analysis, right? Give me two to three business days. Uh, Sheila, let me give me a cup of water and me answer this last question. Sheila, for $50, I hope you're not expecting to get your negative credit um, items removed. It's the analysis is an opportunity for me to analyze and audit your credit report. Now, after I log off, it's going to be $75. And that goes in account that if you sign up for the services, once you receive the quoted consulting prices, that will be subtracted from the quote amount. 
Nakia Bossman, I just got notification. You just sent me a message in the email. You all, once I, after the two to three days, I promise you, I cannot make this stuff up. Someone just enrolled Friday, right? And paid the $50 for the credit analysis. Monday, they was asking for a refund. Monday, just pay Friday and Monday, ask for a refund. I asked for two or three business days. So if you don't know, Saturday and Sunday is not business days. It's weekend, right? Really didn't give it one business day. So I, you know, I told the person, listen, I inform you two to three business days for your credit analysis. Um, so you will get a prorated refund. So at that point, I gave this person half of their deposit back, which was $25, but I also told them that you cannot be a future client of mine. This is over with. Because if you react to a $50 deposit this way, then what are you going to do if your services cost $500 or $600 or $700 or $800? You're not the client I want to work with in the future. And some people will credit report is, is, and that's why you have to pay for analysis because I can't give you a quote. Everybody credit report is different. I can't quote a person that has three collections the same price as I quote someone that has 13. Now, I know you do that on month to month credit repair businesses, but with credit repair business, just know, you know, you pay slow and the outcome may be slow. But if you don't have many negatives it's on your credit, it's maybe more for you. I cannot answer that until I look at your credit report. If I feel like you need to be on my month-to-month -month plan with my partnership business, once I analyze your credit report, I will let you know. So it does not matter to me what you tell me that you think is on your credit report. I have to analyze it and give it an audit. To number one, see what service is best for you to pay it once or to pay month to month, right? Depending on your goal situation. And I have to make sure that what you say it is. And then I have to make sure that you have no accounts, no accounts, right? That can possibly take you or sue you to court for those outstanding debts. And then I have to analyze by looking at your credit report, just like going to a doctor. A doctor would not give you a diagnosis on the phone or by you emailing him or her telling them your symptoms. They have to do a physical um, examination, and that's what I have to do with credit. So if you're questioning the $75 or $50 investment fee, then more than likely you will not be. The, I mean, not in, not questioning what it entails, but why you have to pay it. I can understand you wondering, OK, what does it entail? Right. But if you're questioning why you have to pay it then you're not the client for me. And I'm saying this as humble as I can be, people. 1.4 million people credit scores are about to drop 20 to 40 points. I don't have to beat the bushes and look for clients. Clients are running to me. So if you're hesitant about investing $75 to better your credit and you want to roll the dice and wait till your score drop and, and you know, just don't be one of those person that sends me an email saying, hey, I've been following you for months. And expect a discounted rate because of that. If you've been following me for months, you should have acted a long time ago, not when you got at the point of desperation, because I've been forewarning you. So two to three business days, your credit analysis. And after the third day, if you haven't heard or seen anything, make sure you check your spam and junk folder. And if you haven't heard anything, just shoot me an email and say, you know, Queen. Uh, it's been. This is the third business day. You all do know that you're not the only people that sign up, right? You do know that I get on at sometimes 20 people a day. So it, I make, I'm backed up. I'm slow. 
I wanted to honor the two or three business days, but I just had 20 people to sign up in one day. You know, can you wait two more business days? Right? Sheila says, how do I do cash app? Do you help with pay for delete? Uh, YouTube. What do you exactly mean by pay for delete? Like if you want one collection removed, Quentin, I, I got I got it. I saw the notification on Cash App. It was received. Yeah, I do tell you all the truth. I'm, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I am bombarded with clients. You know, I, I told someone today that it, you can't get that experience fixed because it has a number on there for technical difficulties. Then I give you a partial refund because I have to move on. That is something I'm telling you that I need to expedite your credit, right? Um, okay, the pay for delete, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's a collection. I don't know if it's a charge out. And then I don't know if it's reporting on one or all three. So the first step with anything, um, Antron McRae, is to go to my website, Credit Help Online. When I log off, um, Antron, I just have to see your credit group. Okay, someone says they signed up tonight. It, yeah, your collection may be only $289, but it might be reporting on all three credit agencies. So it's not the amount of the collection. It's not even what type of collection. It's let me send the credit report so I can see exactly what it is because Antron is, is a lot of moving pieces to this. It's so many different ways to get a collection deleted. I need to see, has it been verified on your credit report? Is it reporting inaccurately? Or is, is it reporting an incomplete account number? So once I see all of that, it may have one out of the three things reporting wrong. It may have all three out of the three things reporting wrong. So it's not just about if you have a one collection, I need to see how it's reporting. And that's what the credit analysis does. So that's why I don't that's why I don't quote prices. Because there's so many things that you all don't understand I have to look at that I have to look at. That's why I don't tell you all on live. Yeah, I charge this one flat fee. You might have a collection that have many other things tied into it than someone else's collection. I have to see how it's reported. And in order to see that. You have to invest in the credit analysis. It's $50 now. When I log off of these live streams, it's $75. That's the price from 2020 on going. And if anyone has ever gotten any, any gotten that done for me, you know it's a very detailed analysis report. It gives you all about your credit history as well. So it's well worth the investment. And once you become a client after that, you get the address removal names that can boost your credit score from two to five points just for those services um, tied into the console. Once you become a client, if you let the, we see what's best for you, that investment paid for itself, right? That investment paid for itself. All right, you all. Love you, Queen of Credit. If you didn't watch the beginning of this, you need to watch the beginning. You need to understand. Also, get the silver stacking report. That's only $25. People, if you want to learn how to use your credit to create cash flow, invest in this for this recession. It's going to hold its value. If you didn't catch this, you know, watch the replay and invest in partnership with me for the credit repair business, right? The work is done for you. You just have to find your clients. And I'm telling you, it's not going to be hard. If you don't know, I put the link in YouTube, um, the credit repair business. If you're interested in that, it's one time, one time investment of $249. The work is done for you. You have to get the clients, right? Another cash app just came in. 
for fifty dollars from Cash Rules. I like that name. Yep, I got it. I promise you, I you are Cash Evelyn. Let me know if you're getting the silver stacking report. Have for for twenty five dollars. I do need your email. Right. I do need your email. Um, also, this is my email, ld at fixmycreditcancash.com. Email me, say queen for the credit. Even though I get notification, I need to have your email address on, on file. And I, don't, I don't think Cash App provides that. So, you know, PayPal just charged me too many fees, right? I like all of my money. That's why I like tax deductions. That's why I like investing in this for capital gains and knowing which ones to get for capital gains that are also saving me tax dollars as well. Those are some more things you all need to know. Um. Bum ass Harris says, I just spent a little bit of my income tax correct this year. No more liabilities. That's right, Bum ass. I like that. She says she's spending her income tax. No more liabilities, more assets. I'm going to sign up for the credit repair business. No, 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 no. Let me give you the link. The credit repair business is through a company. You don't cash out that. The credit repair business. And if you're watching on Periscope and, uh, Facebook, and you want the credit repair business, it's a partnership company. Send me an email. I send you the link to enroll. One time, two forty nine. And what you do once you enroll, this is the link for YouTube. You select opportunity. You'll see opportunity on that tab. You'll see opportunity. And then it has financial freedom. And this is a great, another thing about the opportunity is that you also get my W4 Wealth Formula package with it. Meaning that you yourself, if your credit is on point and you're trying to get clients and we, they have a great compensation plan, I shared it with you once you enroll. And you're trying to get clients. What you're, you, you also will learn how to save yourself a third of your paycheck from paying taxes. Because if you watched earlier, I stated that once they took gold off of money, printing money off the gold standard, Kevin, I got your payment. Got your payment. Once they took off this off the gold standard and they start just printing this money that was not backed by gold anymore, now this can be taxed because this cannot be taxed. So, once you enroll in this uh, business for two forty nine, you are going to have home based business tax deductions, and you're going to position yourself to get more money out of your paycheck throughout the year, which you're going to need for the recession. And every client or customer that signs up with you for the credit repair will get these services as well, right? Some speedy clippers, yes. I don't like PayPal either. Too many fees. Too many fees on PayPal. So I'm gonna give you an example. Like if you were to go through PayPal for the fifty dollars uh, credit consultant, I would only receive forty eight dollars of that. It's two dollars off the top. Uh, Cash App doesn't work like that, right? So that's why I, you know I prefer Cash App. I think I put all that, that link in. So yeah, so not only do you get the credit right consultant, let me know if that link came through. But you get the W-4 wealth training for yourself and for your clients. It all comes in one package. It all comes in one package. And it's done for you, right? It's done for you because I don't have the time. I won't have the time. I'm going to be overwhelmed to teach anybody one-on-one -on -one and mentor one-on-one -on -one about credit. Hey, I love you all. Thanks for investing in yourself. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching all the way to the end. And, you know, if you happen to watch this tomorrow, if it was, I gave wealth of knowledge about explaining silver rounds investing, silver stacking investing. Again, I have a silver stacking report for $25. You can go to Cash App, 
dollar sign LD financial coaching. Um, order the silver stacking report. If you do, make sure you include your email. If you sign up for the credit audit that's changing from $50 to $75, um, then email me and I will email you back. Go to my website, fixmycreditcancash.com, credit help, book online. Thank you so much, Facebook Katrina. And send me a message and say, um, hey, Queen, I just sent you the $50 cash app. I need instructions now on what I need to do to email you my credit report. Okay, last question. You're welcome, uh, Canon. LB3, can I just get the W2 package to teach me? Sure, great question. You just want the W2 package, LB3? Go to their website, and instead of selecting the hitting the opportunity tab, hit membership. And LB3, and also from that one person that said they just had one um, collection reporting. This may be an option for you as well. If you know it's just that one thing under your membership on this website for $80, you get the W4 wealth training. You call the company in 1-800 number and you also can get the credit max system. Right? So if you're someone that no, I just have one minor thing, two minor things. Queen is nothing then $80 month to month would be your option. All right, JJ, Jabrell Jones, is MRI checking my report? I see they are asking for a social at sign up. Jabrell, once you sign up, um, they're not checking your report. They just need your personal information on file, especially if you're enrolling for the business opportunity because they have to pay you and you'll get a 10 um, 99 form at the end of the year. So you have to get paid. You, you are becoming a business affiliate, a business person. So they need all your information to get paid. Just know if you choose the business option and the opportunity, you will also receive the services as long as you are an enrolled agent for the credit max and the W4 wealth program as well. And that alone by itself will be an $80 services. And now you're positioning yourself to help people who's going to be struggling with these FICO 10 changes this summer. And I'm telling you, you just got to go. You, you may not even have to find the clients. They will find you because credit repair in the next couple of weeks a month is going to be a high on demand recession proof work from home business. And this is the best way that I can give it to you and provide it to you for you to make that passive and residual income. Right. All right, you all, I'm signing off. Glad you all tuned in. You two, do me a favor before you all log off because I only have 23 thumbs up. Make sure you give the thumbs up, right? I think someone named Tequila, I was looking down, just sent that payment, I got that payment. I think it said Tequila, but it, or something. I just got some type of alert. Um, hey, I'm signing off. Make sure you watch this all the way at the beginning. And watch this two or three times because you need to see how I show my credit karma account. If you're coming in at the end and my Experian account that's showing the updates for the FICO 10. My email, Quentin, is LD. Let me type it in. I'll type it in. LD as in Larry and Dan at fix my credit and cash.com LD as in Larry and Dan. Thank you so much at fix my credit and cash.com. My website again also is www.fixmycreditandcash.com. This is Queen. Peace and prosperity to you. Okay. Cannon says, Council Lexington Law today. Good deal. How long were you with them? Just just curious. How long were you with Lexington Law? And what, what results you got before I sign off? LB3, I came in as soon as you were done. I'm getting back. Okay. So I want Cameron to answer that question. How long were you with Lexington Law? He said too long. LOL. Well, did you get any results? 
Can did you get any results? Oh, seven months. So they didn't get you. Okay. All right. And I'm always your backup plan, right? But, you know, I've heard rave reviews about this company and clients that um, had minor things or either just a low budget. And so I'm um, glad to be in partnership with them because I can't handle, I hold the business, right? Yeah. And yeah, okay, they just removed a few minor things. I know they don't do major things like charge offs, uh, bankruptcy, inquiry removal as well. All right, you all, I love you. Watch the beginning of this again and again. I show how Credit Karma and uh, Experian already updated and changed for FICO 10, peace and prosperity, credit and cash flow. I'm signing out.